Hi, this is Steve from SewingGold.com, and I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to install a needle positioner on this Juki D1181N. Uh, this video will also be good for the DDL series, any DDL 8700, 5550, 8100, and so on. Um, so let's get started. Um, I've laid out what comes with the needle positioner. We're going to ignore that for one second. We're not going to need these pieces. This is for a different type of machine. And then we've got two of these uh, screws. We are going to use the smaller of the two so you can get rid of the larger one. Okay, and now we can get started. Um, these pieces I'll show you in a minute. Those are the pieces that I'm going to send you. This does not come with the needle positioner usually, so we made this up, and this makes it a lot easier to install the needle positioner on this type of machine. So I've got a, a receptacle here for this screw. A lot of people ask why there's no screw in there. Well, it's not meant for anything other than if you have a needle positioner. So we're going to screw this in. Okay, nice and tight. Next thing, we're going to grab our needle positioner. We're going to just slide it on there. We'll need an Allen wrench. We're just going to tighten it temporarily here. Okay. Now, we're going to grab this little setup. So, the way I have it set up is like this. It's already set up for you. <clears throat> the other things that are loose in, in a, the bag I'm going to send you is going to be a lock washer and then this larger washer. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, so now, if we could see, there is a hole right here, okay? There good, is going to be a screw in there if you set up your, your uh, belt guard properly. We're going to want to remove that screw because we're going to use that hole to screw this in there. Okay? So I'm going to do that now. You remove the screw that's in there. Okay? Now we may have to turn this a little bit to get this going and loosen everything up. Uh, I'm going to grab a Phillips screwdriver. And I'm going to screw this in a little bit. Okay, I feel resistance. And now I'm going to tighten the nut closest to the machine. I'm using a 9 millimeter wrench. Uh, I believe you could use um, Imperial or inches also. I'm not sure exactly what size it is. And it doesn't have to be super tight. Okay. Now, this piece here, the end of this piece is going to be inserted, if, I could, if you could see, in here. Okay. So I'm going to turn this, and then I'm going to slide this piece into the bottom. It's a little awkward. Just got to give it a push. Also, it's sort of hitting the bobbin winder a little bit here, which I did not realize it would do, but we'll get it in there. We're going to move it up, and then we're going to slide it sideways. Okay, give me a minute while I do this. easier to do it from the bottom. Let me see if I can do the bottom. Because I literally cannot get this in here. Yes, even I have issues with these things. Alright. Got it. Just got to wedge it in there. Not always the easiest thing. All right, so now, on the inside of this, we have a nut and a lock washer. Okay, I'm gonna want you to now, not the one that's closest, so let's see, in the video it's sort of hard to see, so right behind this, we have a, a, uh, a washer, a lock washer, and then a nut. Same thing, I'm gonna grab my, my nine millimeter, and I am going to tighten that. Let me do that with my left hand so you can see. You 
want to tighten this enough just so this piece doesn't slide. All right, now this is secure. I'm not gonna tighten the other part yet on the, the needle positioner yet. There, there's two Allen wrench screws on here, or hex keys. So next step is gonna be to plug this into the motor. There's only one spot on the motor that this can plug into, because this is a four prong. So look on the back of your control panel and then plug it in to the four prong. So if you wanna see it, that's a four prong, all right? I don't have a hole in my table. I mean, I do where my belt goes, but I'm not gonna go in there. I'm just gonna go to the side here. And give me a second, I'm gonna plug that in. Let me pause it so I can get under the table and, and uh, plug this in. All right, now that we have it plugged in, we are gonna turn the motor on. Okay, and we're gonna hit the end button until we see the down. Now that it's down, now I'm gonna be setting up the needle positioner. All right, so let me move this up, come out a little bit. I'm gonna pause this and reposition so you can see how I'm gonna do this. Okay, so now we can see what I'm gonna be doing here. I'm gonna try it right now. I didn't move anything here. I didn't move anything over here yet. So I'm going to run the machine and see where it stops. So it's stopping up. I don't want it to stop up. So I'm gonna find the screw that I tightened, the original screw. I'm gonna loosen it. And now I'm gonna hold the, the needle positioner, that part of the needle positioner, and turn the wheel until I get the needle where I think it should go. And I'm always gonna turn that toward me. Okay, I'm gonna try there. Okay, so my needle's in the down position now. I'm gonna show you exactly where I want it, so we're gonna try it again. Try it, and then we're gonna, we wanna test where, if we push on the front of the pedal, to get it to come back up, we want to make sure this thing, this is called the take-up lever, is going to go all the way to the top. So I want the take-up lever, if we could see in the video, I want this piece all the way to the top. The needle's going to be up, this piece right here is going to be all the way at the top. So I'm going to have to make an adjustment. So let me try it one more time, see what I'm going to have to do. Needle goes back up, so I'm going to have to turn the wheel a little bit. So let me try it again. I'm going to always do it when the needle's in the down position. Okay, and now I'm gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna loosen this, okay? I'm gonna hold the needle positioner, turn the hand wheel again a little bit toward me, tighten, and we'll try it again. So a little trial and error. I'm gonna pop the needle back up, and now we've got the take-up lever all the way back up, almost, which should be good, but I'm gonna do it perfectly for you guys. So we're gonna run it, and I'm gonna move it ever so slightly a little more toward me, holding the needle positioner, turn the wheel. I turned it just a little tiny bit. Now I tighten, let's try it lastly. I think this is gonna be it. And now we've got the take-up lever all the way up. So when I'm sewing, and I stop, my needle's in the fabric, and then when I hit the front of the pedal, or my heel, I've got the take-up lever all the way up. So once I've done this, we're pretty much finished, other than we want to tighten the second of these two hex keys or Allen wrench screws. Okay, and that is basically it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'm Steve from SewingGold.com. Thank you very much for watching.